Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 25th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day. New Life. We die to live. That is a beautiful paradox straight out of the biblical idea of being born again, or in losing one's life to find it. When we work at our twelve steps, the old life of guzzling and fuzzy thinking and all that goes with it gradually dies, and we acquire a different and a better way of life. As our shortcomings are removed, one life of us dies, and another life of us lives. We in AA die to live. Second edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 341 to 342. Thought to consider. Life didn't end when I got sober. It started. AA acronyms. Think. The happiness I never knew. Just for today, accept my humanness from a nourishing ingredient. Where humility had formerly stood for a forced feeding on humble pie, it now begins to mean the nourishing ingredient, which can give us serenity. Twelve Steps in Twelve Traditions, page 74. How often do I focus on my problems and frustrations? When I am having a good day, these same problems shrink in importance, and my preoccupation with them dwindles. Wouldn't it be better if I could find a key to unlock the magic of my good days for use on the woes of my bad days? I already have the solution. Instead of trying to run away from my pain and wish my problems away, I can pray for humility. Humility will heal the pain. Humility will take me out of myself. Humility, that strength granted to me by that power greater than myself, is mine for the asking. Humility will bring balance back into my life. Humility will allow me to accept my humanness joyously. Daily Reflections, page 204. Daily Reflections. Those who still suffer. For us, if we neglect those who are still sick, there is unremitting danger to our own lives and sanity. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 151. I know the torment of drinking compulsively to quiet my nerves and my fears. I also know the pain of white-knuckled sobriety. Today, I do not forget the unknown person who suffers quietly, withdrawn, and hiding in the desperate relief of drinking. I ask my higher power to give me his guidance and the courage to be willing to be his instrument to carry within me compassion and unselfish actions. Let the group continue to give me the strength to do with others what I cannot do alone. As Bill sees it, praying for others. While praying sincerely, we still may fall into temptation. We form ideas as to what we think God's will is for other people. We say to ourselves, This one ought to be cured of his fatal malady, or that one ought to be relieved of his emotional pain, and we pray for these specific things. Such prayers, of course, are fundamentally good acts, but often they are based upon a supposition that we know God's will for the person for whom we pray. This means that side by side with an earnest prayer, there can be a certain amount of presumption and conceit in us. It is AA's experience that particular in these cases, we ought to pray that God's will, whatever it is, be done for others as well as for ourselves. 12 and 12, page 104. Big Book Quote On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking especially asking that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. 
Under these conditions, we can employ our mental faculties with assurance, for after all, God gave us brains to use. Our thought life will be placed on a much higher plane when our thinking is cleared of wrong motives. Alcoholics Anonymous Into Action, page 86. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. We are living on borrowed time. We are living today because of AA and the grace of God. And what there is left of our lives we owe to AA and to God. We should make the best use we can of our borrowed time and in some small measure pay back for that part of our lives which we wasted before we came into AA. Our lives from now on are not our own. We hold them in trust for God and AA. And we must do all we can to forward the great movement that has given us a new lease on life. Am I holding my life in trust for AA? Meditation for the day. You should hold your life in trust for God. Think deeply on what that means. Is anything too much to expect from such a life? Do you begin to see how dedicated a life in trust for God can be? In such a life, miracles can happen. If you are faithful, you can believe that God has many good things in store for you. God can be Lord of your life, controller of your days, of your present and your future. Try to act as God guides and leaves all results to Him. Do not hold back, but go all out for God and the better life. Make good your trust. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may hold my life in trust for God. I pray that I may no longer consider my life as all my own. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.